Hey everyone, it's your girl Nunu the Hair Diva and I'm back with you with a What's On My Nails video. So I'm in my blue, my favorite color. I have it on my eyes, I have it on my lips, I have it on my body, and baby dolls, I have it on my nails. Let me come in a little close so you can get a look at these nails. Yeah, you like them? I like them too. And as you see below, there is the name. Mm-hmm, my daughter came up with that one. I was really excited. So, before I show you each individual nail, let me tell you the products that I use. As always, every single time, Beauty Secrets Base Coat, I apply two of these. This keeps my nails tacky and allows the nail polish to stay to my nails a lot better. Going over the top of my nails, I went back to my uh, Old Faithful, and that is Out the Door, America's number one super fast drying top coat. So I use this sometimes to hold down my bling and other charms or I would use like a nail glue. When I'm finished doing all of my nails, I go over my nails with Beauty Secret Cuticle Oil. And sometimes I have to remind myself to do that because I will forget. But I use some new products. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I used some new products of uh, this particular nail design. The first polish that I use on every single nail is by Julep. And you remember I did a video where my daughters brought me um, the Julep nail polishes. I think I have like four total. This is in the color Millie. And it is a beautiful, beautiful blue. I really love that color. And it is by Julep. Over the top of some of my nails, just to give me an accent, I am using another Julep polish. And let me see, what's the name of this? Alright, this is what it looks like. It's by Julep. The name of this is Glenda. Do I have that the right way for you all? Glenda. And what this is, is a crackle polish in silver. And I'm telling you, I have fallen in love with the first stroke of these nail polishes. I, I love them. They cost a lot, but I love them. For a little bit of an accent, I am using soft blue in my Kiss Nail Striping Nail Polish. And I am also using my Bling Rhinestone Wheel. Right here is the bows. That's what the bows look like before I have them on my nails. And I got those from eBay. This is my Iridescent rhinestone wheel and I cleared out this one because I used them pretty much all on my nails and they were kind of like a medium small size and then I used a few of the medium size to attach those to my nails I'm using a new product it's called Omega Labs USA brush on nail glue and this is what that looks like and I will show you the brush that's what the brush looks like it's a lot of glue in here you get 0.5 fluid ounces or 15 milliliters and yeah I think I can do my nails toes and everybody else's with this glue the last item that I have on my hands instead of just my nails I am using this Julep Rockstar hand cream and this came in my Maven box 
that's what the box looks like but this is what the hand cream looks like out of the box Rockstar and it smells really good here at the bottom is the hole so you just twist and I will put a little bit on my hands now just in case you know they're ashy and it comes out pretty much like a thick consistency and I don't think you would need any more than that so I'm just gonna massage this into my hands and then we are going to show you my nails do y'all like the cover? Do y'all like the name? Let me know below if you like it. Alrighty, so let's start off with the right hand. So this is what my nails look like on the right hand. I use Millie, which is the blue nail polish on every single nail. I gave myself a half of a manicure with the silver Glenda Crackle Polish. On the ring finger, I just did a few rows of the bling. I called myself trying to get it in a pyramid design, but I was happy with the rows that I have on there. For the middle finger, I gave myself crackle down the side and across the front, left myself a little bit of the Millie Blue polish, and just uh, marked it off with the rhinestone. On the pointer finger, I have the crackle polish over the Millie polish, and I left it just like that. I really liked how the crackle polish looked. And as far as the thumb was concerned, I used some larger rhinestones down the middle, crackle on the side, and the regular blue on the other side. And this is the right hand. Now let me show you the hand that I always love, and that is the left hand. And as you can see, I tricked out that pinky, and you know, I did something that I never thought I would do. So I use a lighter blue on my nails, and then I went in and put three blue bows, as well as two medium size iridescent rhinestones now that blue polish that you see on my pinky is a funky fingers polish and it is called 220 volts for the ring finger I actually created the pyramid design and just blinged out the bottom half of the nail for the middle finger I left just the Millie Blue Polish on there and over it is the Glenda Crackle Polish which is silver and then I just left that bare. Now for the pointer finger let me just show you it is starting to bend a little bit so with this one I just blinged out the top half of the nail and I call myself having like a falling uh, rhinestones from the top so that's why you see the little three stones hanging from the bottom and as for the thumb I gave myself a half a crackle at the bottom I used my soft blue to give myself three striped lines I used the iridescent rhinestones to line it off and it is over the top of the julep mini blue nail polish and this is the left hand and by the way all these bows on this pinky definitely makes that finger feel a lot heavier so the, here are both of my hands and my nail designs I hope you like them thank you all for sticking with me to the end I hope you really like the blue makeup that I have on, as well as my blue top. I know you can't see it that much, but I love it. Last thing I want to let you know, I did a little more switching up. I had to give myself a little more storage. Even though I got rid of stuff, I still needed more storage. 
All right, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. To all be blessed. Leave your questions and comments below. Hit the like button, thumbs up, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.